Good morning, everybody. This is Happily Ever Harold. My name is Jason. And I'm Christy. Yeah, and we traveled down to Lakeland. We heard a rumor that there was an antique mall that actually sells merchandise and furniture originally in the parks and in the Disney resorts. And we are here in Lakeland, as you can see behind us. We're really excited to show you. We're excited to see ourselves. Mm -hmm. We might have to make some purchases I today. I hope we do. <laughs> so we'll see you inside. Here we go. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Just to give you a little perspective on where the Disney booth is located, you're gonna walk all the way back to the store. And right here, it is under the C sign. All right, we found the booth, guys. The booth of all booths. Disney and Universal props used in the parks. This old arcade, it is a prop, guys. It does not work, but it was uh, used in their arcade display at Halloween Horror Nights. $1,500. Look at this. It was a chair prop, $400. Wow, this is another prop for $95. It's just a wooden trunk. Let's see if it opens up. It does. We got a little pirate here for $95. Different little posters. Wow. I wonder if this was from last year, $800 and $95. We also have these cups for $8 a piece that were sold in the parks. 2019, yep, yeah, from 2019. Star Wars Galaxy's oh, wow. Edge. They already have a Galaxy's Edge thing in here. That's impressive. Prop container right there. Huh. $350. I have to show you. I'm so obsessed with these. Look at these blue chairs. I want them so badly. It says their location's unknown. They're 150 each, but they're so cool looking. This coat was used at Hollywood Studios on display in a display window. I always see those windows and I think, oh my gosh, I want to buy the clothes. They're so cute, but of course they're never for sale. This is where they go. <laughs> $20. We got a portrait up here framed for $300 from the Disney cruise ships. We got Disney vintage. $15? Whoa! You're sneaking up behind me for $95. We got an original prop at Disney. Christmas gift box prop that was used in the parks for $50. Ooh, Yacht and Beach Club. That's Those are some fantastic resorts right there. We got plates you can own for $50. Bucks. And the Grand Floridian. Wow. Another $50 plate. Now this thing, what's this bed frame? Bed frame, wow, amazing. This is a Disney Cruise Line prop blanket right here for $95. And then lampshades from the cabins on the cruise ships. Another Disney Dream blanket. Oh, look at this. Disney Springs Christmas display prop. You can see right there in the picture. It was actually inside the World of Disney store. $1,500 if you'd like to have, have that in your home. There's just so much. $150 for this Grand Floridian display prop. Cars lampshade, now that, that's cool. Cars lampshade for $50. What's this, a floor lamp? 200 bucks. Wow, if that works, that's a nice piece. Got another little I love that chest store. here, 45 bucks. This lamp is so unique. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. $75 for that lamp. Some more plates. That's from the Disney Cruise Line, I can tell. $45 a piece. Another display from Disney Springs. $65, check that out. This is a mini chair. $150, let's see the front of it. And then you can actually buy Christmas ornaments used on the Christmas trees from around the Disney resorts. These are from the Wilderness Lodge, Animal Kingdom, and Old Key West. All right, we just keep finding things. Here we got from Animal Kingdom, these chairs are $65 a piece. We got a set of two. We've got plenty of those 
cruise ship chairs. Now this, this used to be in the prop warehouse. It's called a bone chair. You would see this on the walking tour. Let me show you the picture. I guess it was up on a shelf. But it's $500 and it's actually a chair you can sit in. But that's actually from an attraction at Disney on an old walking tour of old props. Got the two chairs. Uh, these are separate from what you saw before. These are $250 a piece. You've got some great art of Tinkerbell and Sorcerer Mickey at $145 a piece. Check this out. This is a crane. Hidden Mickey. Disney Springs. As you can see in the picture, they used it. If I can, yeah, there we go. It was actually a crane picking up other toys. That's $500. We've got a universal prop for Happy New Year. It doesn't have a date. Oh no, look what I just saw. This is nice. That's stunning. Disney's 25th anniversary prop for $225. This is, remember this cake, guys? The cake castle? Sorry. Remember that cake castle? I worked there, 1997, 98. That's when that cake castle, I guess this prop is from there. That is really nice. That is obviously from the Grand Floridian. You gotta get her way in the back, guys, to find out the nice merch. Let's see what this is. It's a cast holiday celebration. So these are cast plaques they would give out as holiday gifts, that's $35. And then these are actually cast member trophies. You get these for being a cast member for 15 years. That's $295. Luckily, it doesn't have the person's name on it. This is, if you're a Pinocchio, it's 35 years of service with Disney as a cast member. That's $395. Right over here, guys, I don't know how they got these, but these are cast member, we call it uniforms. This is what you wear in the park. Oh, they're super heavy. They're so well made. I was yeah. 40 bucks. You could go as a cast member for Look, That looks like maybe Woody from Toy Story. But look at all this actual cast members worn these inside the park. Let's check out one more chair from Tomorrowland Terrace. $65 if you want to. That's where you watch the fireworks display for the desserts. Those are $65. That chair. I'm sure plenty of us have sat in those before. Wow. All right, look at this banner. From the 25th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Celebrating 25 years. In 1996, we've got some princess banners. $95 a piece. And guys, I don't know if any of you remember this, but Goofy used to water ski around Grand Floridian, around Contemporary. <laughs> and these are the actual wow, That's amazing. water skis. They'd have to open up because I'm pretty sure Goofy has bigger feet than that, but wow, $295 for the actual skis that Goofy used to use back in the day. Wow. This is from Saratoga Springs. It's for $99. And I think the weirdest thing that I found today is I don't know what to say about this. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a Christmas tree. It's got Christmas ornaments, lots of hidden Mickeys all over. It's got the gloves, it's got a Mickey hand, and then it's got many shoes on her heels. <laughs> that tree is so sassy. What? This is a sassy tree. <laughs> I think I found some information. Here we go, guys. This was a New York City store, oh, the Disney yeah. store on Fifth Avenue. That's why it's $1,200. Wow, that is a sassy tree. Come buy your sassy tree, guys. All right, we found some furniture from the Disney resorts. These are actually a set of Disney Vacation Club prop chairs. They're put in the resorts. They're $75 each. Look at this full lot of Disney chairs from Disney Vacation Club resorts. We've got some from Polynesian, $65 a piece. Leather Ottoman from Saratoga Springs. If you ever stayed in Saratoga Springs, you can see right there in the picture. You might've put your feet up. Hutches from Saratoga Springs. Way hidden in the back here. Guys, look at this. 
So what, what is this? This is Epcot Flower and Garden sign display. Wow, look at look how long it is. It looks like two pieces. Look at this, if this is like a hat rack, right? Looks like it's on wheels maybe. This is the Disney original prop, Pirates of the Caribbean shirt rack for $350. I'm guessing maybe it was in the gift shop, maybe? All right, you guys are gonna get to know me. You're gonna know that I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So these housed some merchandise in the um, Star Wars Hollywood Studios launch bay. It's a launch bay case. Also, look at this. We got from Hollywood Studios, Star Wars launch bay cases. There's $85 a piece. Ooh! I could really use these for all of my vintage action figures. So this piece here was used at the Disney Vacation Club. It's only $250 for this huge, beautiful piece. You could even refurnish it if you wanted to. Everything is working perfectly. And then over here is a mirror from, I think it's from Wilderness Lodge. These, this was used on the cruise line, on the Fantasy. This wow. Is my this one is already sold. $300 someone. Look how cool that is. Wow. That's a beautiful piece. Oh wait, I need to jot down the address of this place. Christy, do you have a pencil? Oh yeah, here you go. So it looks like they have Epcot Food and Wine Festival posters, which are super cute. You could laminate these and use these as placemats. Case How much are they the a piece? They're five dollars each, which is a great wow. deal. They're really pretty. Christy loves Remy. Love Remy. Christy, what are you finding? I see you got your hands full. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look at this. What is this? It's a vintage Mickey fanny pack. Oh my How much? Gosh. $40. I think your hands are getting too full. Oh my gosh, I know, I need a cart. So, for, I, all right. I don't know. Guys, don't come and get, don't come looking for this because we're getting. Look at this villain's room, World of Disney. It's huge. It is $250 in great condition. The great thing about this flea market is that even though a booth might not be fully Disney themed, like this one is not, you're bound to find something Disney, which is awesome. Like this little mini clock. How terrifying is this hat? I would not want that on my head. I don't know if Disney would even allow you into the park. Oh, there it is. That's so funny. Let's see how much they are. $65. They look vintage. They look really cool, but scary. We're at another booth, and right here we have this gorgeous piece from All Star Movie Resort. It is $1.99, and it's in great condition. Look at all these plates. This is the plate collector's Paradise and each one is only $28. There's so many beautiful plates. You could hang these on the wall, make them wall decorations. Hey, I see you looking at my apple. Don't you look at my apple. Don't you look at my apple. Stay away from my apple. Stay away. I know a couple people that might want that. Some friends from the old Hunchback show I used to do at Hollywood Studios, MGM. Now if you're looking for Disney pens, on the cheap, three to four dollars, five to six dollars, ten dollars over here. Look, um, if you, you could go through this. I've seen some girls earlier that stood here for about 35 minutes, <laughs> trying to find the perfect pen. And so can you. Okay, car haul. We are at the back of the trunk right now. This is Agent P's cast member worn costume hat. This is what we got. Then we have an Animal Kingdom Christmas tree ornament used in park. We splurged and Jason very kindly got me this vintage Mickey fanny pack and this Disney decorative bowl prop. I'm obsessed with it. It's gonna look so cute. We're gonna clean out the inside a little bit. Uh, that's the haul.
All right, so guys, thank you so much for coming along with us to the Lakeland Antique Mall. You might be wondering exactly where it is. All I did from Orlando was I just put um, Lakeland Antique. <laughs> Are you okay? You all right? Get some dust in. All right, we're gonna keep that in. So all I did was put in um, Lakeland Antique and it popped right up. It's the, it's the main exit off I-4 for Lakeland. It's really easy find. Um, so please come check it out. I hope uh, some of this stuff is still here for you to buy. Uh, Christy almost bought everything. Um, you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. You're, okay, okay, good. <laughs> well, thanks so much. We'll see you on our next adventure, everybody. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Mm -hmm.